Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? It's friggin' Wednesday out. Chippy's up there just friggin' giving her. Just giving her in the attic. Just, just giving her. And I know where he's getting in now, so. He's going across there. He's climbing that tree. Going across to the tree over here. Climbing that limb and jumping on the roof. You can actually hear him land too. He's a fatty, that's for sure. Son of a bitch. I'm wondering if a rat trap would work too. Like one of those... Like, you know those little mouse traps I bought that were so effective against mice? The, they'd be even more effective if I actually started using them again. Because I'm wondering, like, uh, these ones here, these things are friggin' awesome for catching mice. Well, they sell massive ones for catching rats. A rat is a little bit bigger than that chipmunk or squirrel. So I'm wondering if I were to buy a bunch of those, like three of them, bait them with peanut butter, fire them up in the attic, I can snap that little bastard's head off. Like, I'm freaking done, guys. I'm freaking done. I'm trying to work, and this guy's up there doing freaking track and field. Like, it's driving me crazy. And the worst part is, is, I talked to my buddy who's a pro trapper. Like, he's got his license, he's got his certifications and everything. And I asked him, I'm like, man, like, should I just go up there and seal off the entrance? Extension ladder go on the side of the house. You know, if I fall off, I'll just land on padded snow. It'd suck, I'd be like a turtle on its back for a little bit, but I'm sure I could roll over. Maybe get somebody over here just to keep an eye on the situation in case I do hurt myself. So somebody's available to call 911 or laugh or at least get video footage of it so I can make some money off my nonsense. But um, he told me that don't patch up the hole because you don't know what's going on up there. He's like, it could have had babies and if you patch up the hole while it's out and the babies are in there, it's going to do some mega damage to your house to get back into its babies. So don't do that. And I was like, shit, okay. Then what do I do? He said the only option is, is if you can trap it, extract it, and drive it far away, that's the only option you have. And the problem with trapping them is, is unlike a mouse that is coming into the house because it wants food and shelter, these damn things don't care. They've already brought all their food into the house. Or they're doing it right now. So he's going out and he's snacking throughout the day and he's coming back here, bringing reserves back in and, and stashing it away. Probably because he's set the friggin, or probably because he's a she and she's set to produce babies in my attic. Fun times, super stoked, can't wait. Gonna be awesome. Gotta deal with that guy up there. So remember, like I said, my buddy said no, don't close it off because he will get back in if he wants to. Uh, the only option is to trap him. And if I do trap him, either to dispatch or relocate. Now, obviously, it's the winter. I relocate him. He's going to dispatch anyway. But I don't care. I just want him to switch, stop destroying my house. Dispatch by relocation. Hey, if it happens, friggin' happen. Another problem that I'm having is my toilet won't stop running. Now, I found out what the issue is. It's that plunger on the inside of the tank. Well, she's probably the original and it's leaking because if you drop the toilet seat and you vibrate the toilet right, it will stop the leak from happening. They probably sell it at Canadian Tire, but they probably sell it at Walmart too. Walmart, I can go in and get it. Canadian Tire, not so easy. Rather get it at Canadian Tire because screw Walmart, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Man, it's only minus two out right now. That is beauty weather. Yeah, it is. Surprised you're not sitting on your box sucking in some of that sun. Surprised you're not enjoying some of that sunlight. Getting a little suntan. Bet you wish someone would aim a little bit lower, eh? So you can get some in you. Did you just break dance? Anyway, it's mother friggin' lunchtime. Time to get my salmon out of the friggin' fryer. Oh, finished 11 minutes ago. Perfect timing. Oh, yeah. Mother friggin' salmon. Love it. So good. Squirrel, 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 squirrel. That's all that's going on. Damn squirrels up in the attic. Just running back and forth. Setting off the dog because they're running back and forth. It's pissing off Oreo because you can hear it. And he thinks I'm upstairs doing tap dances or some freaking nonsense. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in his mind. Nobody knows what's going on in his mind. Honestly, look at him. Like anybody knows what's going on in that mind. Turns out certain things they don't like the smell of. Like cayenne pepper or peppermint or apple cider vinegar. Basically all that stuff. So what I was thinking with my brain is I was thinking about making a mixture of stuff and then getting up into the attic and just spraying it everywhere making it stink up there to the point where squirrels don't want to be there. That might actually work because apparently a rat trap, they're smart enough to get around them. Um, neighbor gave me this one here to try, but 
I don't know how to set it. I'm like, he's like, here, you can use this. And I'm like trying to figure, I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. I guess he figured I knew how to use it, but um, I, for the life of me, can't figure out how to keep the thing from snapping back and taking my fingers off. So don't really like this one. That's why I didn't buy any of those to catch the mice underneath my sink. And I went with the other, the, the clicky kind because they're easy to set and they work pretty damn good. But yeah, anyway. So I guess tonight what we're gonna do is we're gonna source out some stuff to make it not pleasant up there for them. Hopefully to get them to leave the area and never come back. And if they have babies up there, well, the other option is, is if I do raid bomb it, it'll kill anything up there, babies and all. Yeah, they'll decompose and rot and stink, but at least I won't have to listen to them running back and forth all the damn time. Modern problems modern solutions no it's modern solutions for modern problems i'll get that right one of these days who's your mouth face your mouth face all right guys workout's done it's actually i like the fact that it's getting darker later i mean tomorrow night it's like 6 18 and it's finally dark out that means by the time we get down to the lake and set up tomorrow night I'll actually be able to get a little bit of a dangle in it's actually kind of warm out right now. That's pretty decent. I did like I did the other night, that one time when I cooked stuff in my crock pot, where I made the chicken and broccoli and turned it into a sludge and then called the prison gruel. Yeah, I did that again. All right, got my prison gruel. All set up here. I covered it in sauce. I got to stir it in, but whatever. Just going to set up a beverage and uh, let's go upstairs and eat. Sup? Okay, there's two things I need to do. It's currently quarter after seven. Walmart's open till 11. But I do want to fix my toilet. So I need to take a look at the plunger thing because that's leaking. So I don't know if you can hear that, but I need to replace this plunger here because she is shot. And it looks like, I wonder if I can replace that whole unit. Oh man. Yeah, she is shot. Okay, so that's gross. Luckily that black shit washed off pretty easily. Yeah, that plunger's shot. But I gotta find one that works like that. So let's go to Walmart and see what we can find. Otherwise, I guess I'll be in the market for a new toilet because who knows how old that one is. I just know that the older toilets are just so much better than the newer stuff. Yeah, let's go to Walmart. See if we can find stuff for a toilet. All right guys, got back from Walmart there. Just grab my shit. I'm going to the house. I, I bought a valve cover flapper. I don't know what the hell it's called. Toilet flapper, I guess, the proper term. See, I have the other parts, and I know that Canadian Tire sells it, but I kind of wanted to fix this tonight. What we're going to do is get some light on this subject, because you guys can't see shit. All right, well, Buddy sold me this thing. He saw, I was like, um, he's like, how old's your toilet? And I'm like, I don't know. He goes, does it predate 1994? And I said, oh, yeah, for sure. He's like, oh, this is what you need. Okay. Mine doesn't have the hooky thing on it. It literally mounts onto the, that pole. So let's open this up and see if it'll actually work. So maybe if we can take this off of this mount, I might be able to mount it directly. You know what? Why don't we go into POV mode? I'll grab the GoPro session, strap it on my head, and then we'll do this toilet repair in POV mode. That way they're at both hands free. That sounds like a plan. Alrighty guys, first thing I need to do is get in here. Good thing I cleaned out the bottom because I think this is where you got to go to access the turn off for the toilet. I say I cleaned it out but it doesn't look that damn clean to me. Oh man, I wish I was smaller. You won't hear anybody else say that, that's for sure. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We'll just let the water run. The water meter doesn't work anyway. The city's mad at me right now because they can't measure how much water I'm using. So, I pull this thing up. That thing is just in there. So let's go ahead and see if we can take this off. I would just take that whole unit out, but it doesn't look like you can. I need like a screwdriver or something. Something to pry the plastic back. Like a butter knife will do. I don't know, buddy at Walmart said it's gonna work. Mind you, he's not a plumber. He's a minimum wage employee. Probably doesn't want to be there, and I don't blame him because I hated working there too. So we got this guy here, and I'm assuming... Will that actually just fit in that hole? Yep. Sort of off a bit so oh that's okay that's different completely okay so this isn't gonna work this is not gonna work son of a bitch you know I almost feel like just saying screw it shelling out the money for a toilet bugging dad to come over and help me install it because I've never done anything like that only problem with a new toilet is as you can see the previous owner built this stupid thing around it 
And this back here, it's the actual wall. This right here. So I ripped this out, which wouldn't be that hard. It would expose a whole bunch of that floor and there's like a huge opening down there. You can see clear into the freaking crawl space. Actually, that might be where the freaking water main is to turn it off. I should look into that. But anyway, you take this thing clear off. Stupid design, just because you didn't feel like finishing the floor. You know, there's other ways you could have done this to replace that toilet. Now, I... No, that was a waste of money. I can't use that plunger thing, so... Like I said, luckily, my water meter doesn't work. So right now, they're not pulling in the right stats for the water being used. But they do want to come and check it out. And the only saving grace I have right now is the fact that COVID is in place, cocking over the program. So, like, this is how stupid this guy built this thing. The toilet's sitting here, and I can't put the lid back on the top. So, like, talk about design. It'd be all right if Chippy decided to chew through some wires and burn this mother down, but like I'll ever get that lucky. No point in returning this. It was only three ninety nine. dollars Earth 97 I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. I'll have to look up the right part. That's all. That's what I'll have to do. Oh, hang on. See, I, I, I bought this here, Canadian Tire, to replace the other part in there. And I'm pretty sure... I'm gonna go check their website now and see. Maybe I'll have to order it up and go pick it up tomorrow or something. Alright, well, it is what it is. See, I told you, Canadian Tire has exactly the whole thing, but it's actually the whole freaking thing. The entire plumb shop, toilet, flush valve with tilt actuator, type 5. Whole bloody thing. All I need is a little plunger guy, but they got the whole bloody thing. 16 freaking dollars. Holy crap. Mind you, that is a lot cheaper than buying a new toilet, so... Well, not this one here, but I bet you it can't take the shit's eye drop. So, looks like I gotta wait until tomorrow to pick up the stuff to fix my toilet. Kind of upset I went to Walmart tonight. That was a waste. Anyway, people, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut it down here, so tomorrow is gonna be a proper toilet repair, hopefully. But I also wanna go fishing tomorrow. Shit. We'll figure it out. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go and until next time guys remember live to win never give in sit stupid sit good dog